Hey guys, Pure Sklugs here, and welcome back to another Hytale overview. Today we're going to be going over the block tech, and I think Hytale has a lot to say about this, it's just they don't want to give everything away, so I'm just going to go over what I can. So, in block tech, if you guys know, um, there's a bunch of features pertaining to how blocks are going to function in Hytale, which, specifically, we are... I'm talking mostly about the colorations, the additions, and stuff like that. Hytale has given us a lot to work with, so I want to make sure that we are able to take advantage of everything that they give us, and we also take a look at some of the features. So one of the things that Hytale implemented, and I believe I talked about this during the terrain um, episode, was when we talked about how transition biomes existed, which is half true. Um, based off of what I learned from here, is there are transition blocks that actually help with biome transformation. And a lot of this, I'm not sure how big the transition biomes are, um, but the tints can change depending on each block. And each of the tints are based off of an RGB system. And I think one of the pictures actually shows up on the article anyways, which kind of shows you guys how it works. So, we have access to that tool as the users and scriptures. So, for anyone that wants to make a server and is trying to make it, you know, multicolored and try to add multiple biomes, you are able to make your own blocks with RGB tints, which will come in handy in the future. But overall, you kind of see some examples throughout the website and the article on some of the tints and the transition biomes and stuff like that. So the, there's also an addition where transition textures exist, and this comes with the biomes as well. And I believe Hytale was trying to target this specifically, because Minecraft never really had any transition, and it was kind of nasty to say the least because there wasn't really a change. It was more of a one minute I'm in a desert and next thing you know, I'm freezing cold in an ice biome. So they tried to change it up a little bit and add something new. The transition textures are able to intertwine with other blocks. And this kind of makes the terrain a little bit nicer. And also it isn't as definite. Which, as much as we like a definite plane, we really want something that flows. And that's kind of what they did here. I'm not sure if we can actually turn off the transition textures. I bet we can edit the blocks themselves. So when you make your own blocks and your own textures, I doubt that'll be an issue. But, to be safe, that's just one of the things that you have to worry about. Now another thing that they talked about in this article was the model maker. Now we've already talked about the model maker a tad bit, just not a whole lot. Now the model maker also interacts with blocks, so we have a huge, huge um, availability to make different things, and one of their examples was ores. And ores actually have little, I guess they have the actual ore themselves outside of the block. And one of the things that we are able to do as the players is to make blocks that aren't necessarily in block form. So, for example, we would have the ability to make a stool or we would have the ability to make a window without having to make a block itself, which is really, really nice. But still, then again, it's still in a block form. Submersible blocks is probably one of the craziest things because we had a lot of issues where you were able to stick things in Minecraft but it really wasn't completely submerged because there was still air around the object. Now in Hytale there are things that can be hidden underwater without any touching. Like you won't have to go ahead and, you know, make a separate block completely, especially since chess can actually work underwater and everything actually works really well. So that gives map makers a little bit of an, a way to touch up on things and you can kind of do things for yourself. 
varied foliage. So there was actually something very specific and they were talking about the trees in Hytale. Hytale has a lot of extensions off of certain things that make the world look more visually pleasing and visually diverse is what they used. But the trees, for example, have miniature blocks on top of them that actually help out with um, leaves coming out and on the sides and stuff like that. And it makes it overall very visually pleasing. So we don't have too many issues with the world looking too blocky, but while keeping an original taste. Now, we're coming down to a close on a few of the things, a few of the features, but one of the small little features was the ambient animations, and yes, we already went over this over um, when we talked about animations and making your own items, so this really isn't too much of a shocker, but you can animate um, some of the blocks in Hytale, which I think overall, if you have a bunch of animated blocks, feel free to... Uh, Take the hits from your FPS and go down to zero. So particle effects was one of their bigger things and I think they were really pleased about this because there's like a whole section on it. And when I mean a whole section I mean like a paragraph. But basically the paragraph, the paragraph explains some of the particle effects and how we can implement them with block dest destruction and a few other things but they're very simple and there isn't really much to them. Now the interactions and animation was actually pretty cool because you were actually able to open the doors and they showed an example of them opening doors and then they closed them and for them to open at the same time and then close and you could also change the animation. I see a lot of animation in the future when it comes to blocks such as windows, closable windows, and stuff like that. So basically, that was all for the Hytale video, but if you guys really liked it, leave a comment down below on some of the things that you want to see for customized, um, customizable features and other things. For more Hytale news, go ahead and subscribe, leave a like down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out!